doing everyone? CP Morty here back in another video and well, we all have seen my weekend project of actually trying to fix the Nexus 5. You've all seen the loop loop thing that I got into, we've pulled it apart, we've checked the buttons, which is I concluded that I was unable to replace the button and that is still the case, but I went on YouTube uh, sort of going around the internet seeing if anyone else actually had this problem and it turned out someone did. Now as you can see here, here's a picture on my Samsung Galaxy Alpha of the Nexus 5 actually booted up and I said WTF the Nexus 5 is working again. Now what I did to fix that is I followed a uh, video that a user uh, by the name of Avatar5414 um, put together and basically what they did was plug the phone in, so as you can see it's plugged into a power source and basically what they did was spam the power button until it booted up. Now I've already done this thinking oh it's not gonna work blah 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 this is a lie whatever so as we'll try and boot it up yeah, we go. We got Google. As you can see, it's turning on. Uh, so what I did was I followed that. I absolutely spammed the crap out of that button until we got to this animation screen. And as you can see, it's actually booting up. Now, there's no VFX trickery or anything like that. You know, once we get in, I'll show you that it actually works. But somehow doing that works. And it turned out it wasn't the actual button that was dead. So... I don't have the slightest clue what's going on now. I originally thought it was the power button, the actual button in there died, but no, it was actually the fact that something in the software had triggered a boot loop. Now, I don't know whether this is Google's secret plan of making all these Nexus 5s have this issue so people upgrade to the Nexus 6 and so on and so forth down the line, but as you can see, we've got our little Android diddly, circly, squiggly thingies that, yeah, I don't know what they're called, but um, that's turning on and... Uh, I'm actually lost for words. I'm I'm very happy that my Nexus 5 is working because I do miss Lollipop, even though there are a few problems with Lollipop. As you can see, Android, blah, blah, blah. I do miss Lollipop. Now, here we go. It's all in. I can do my pass number thingo as I point the camera away so you don't know what it is. There we go. As you can see, it's booting up. There we go. Nice lag when we turn on all our phones. But this software bug did cause me to have to drop Four hundred, well, around four hundred dollars on a new phone. Now you're probably thinking, ah, oh, phones four hundred dollars. That's not expensive as opposed to what I could have spent. But my point being, a small one, a uh, small two minutes and five second video just brought this phone back to life. So everything works. You can go ahead and push buttons. Well, it would work if it didn't lag out. There we go. As you can see, stuff is happening. We can scroll through pages. It's obviously slow when it's turning on, but. I, I don't know what to say, we, there's nothing else happening with this, I can wipe the phone now, I can do whatever, I can move through all the menus, it is a bit laggy, but all Android Lollipop is a bit laggy when you first turn it on, so I'm sitting here speechless, I'm not normally speechless when it comes to tech, but um, at this point in time, I am lost for words. So, um, guys, I guess this is just not really a how-to video or anything along those lines, it's just me saying... Um, to fix your Nexus 5 if you do get this bug as well, basically spam the power button until it gets to a um, to the lock screen. So until you get to there for your device, you can basically stop spamming the button and just use your phone as normal. So guys, I guess like or dislike the video accordingly, go ahead and give some thanks to Avatar5414 on the YouTubes for pointing out that you can just basically spam the power button um, to turn the phone back on and get it working again. I, I'm going to look into this and see whether it's actually a thing that's secretly happening that no one really wants to have you know about or anything like that. Um, but I'll definitely look into it and see where we go from there. So again, guys, like or dislike the video accordingly. Let me know if you have any other tips or tricks for saving your Nexus if you do run into any other problems. And while you're down there, why not give us a sub if you like this kind of content. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Thanks. For